Uh, can we go now to uh, uh, Frank Bainimarana of, the, of, of Fiji, Prime Minister of Fiji? Thank you, sir. Excellencies, Mbulaminaka, and a good afternoon. Uh, Excellencies, some of you may remember uh, from COP23 in Bonn, the Fijian dub, uh, double hulled uh, sailing canoe known as the Ndrua, that symbolized our message of uh, solidarity, that we are all in the same canoe when it comes to climate change. As I speak, uh, Your Excellencies, our global canoe is headed for storms that will sink us while seawater pours aboard through massive gaps, gaps in ambition, gaps in climate finance, and gaps in emissions reduction commitments. It brings to mind, uh, Your Excellencies, an ancient adage, uh, one I've seen added to Fiji's call to action, Tunainima Lubunawanga, which means quite literally, the boat sinks despite the presence of the bailers. Islands, nations like Fiji have teaspoons with which to bail water. The G20 nations have buckets. Yet too many are willfully ignoring the storms on the horizon and the holes in our canoe. They must cut emissions now to set our canoe towards the calm of carbon neutral seas and they need to start bailing now by meeting their climate finance pledges before our canoe sinks to the seabed. While we welcome the new climate finance delivery plan on meeting the US $100 billion goal by 2023, we do so knowing that nations have fallen billion short of previous pledges. And despite being the most climate vulnerable nations in the world, small island developing states have accessed a mere 2% of the available finance, which has mostly been through loans, forcing us to pay high interest rates to address climate-driven impacts we did not cause. Wealthy nations do more than pledge finance. They must make it affordable and accessible, and they must actually ensure that it reaches the communities it's meant to aid for mitigation, but mainly for adaptation purposes. And we thank the Australian government for committing itself to assistance in the Pacific uh, community. And by 2025, much higher levels of commitment will be required. $750 billion annually in climate finance, 10% of which is dedicated to small island development states, as well as a dedicated mechanism for the losses and damages we have already sustained. Wealthy nations spend trillions on defense partnerships and on weapons that can level entire communities. Surely, we can spend billions to adopt them. How do we ensure that this is not uh, yet another empty, ta empty ask? We can start by meeting the 2023 commitment. Another way would be to finalize Article 6, price carbon, and ensure emitters pay to adapt the communities they are devastating. This COP is where we will choose to stay with 1.5 or lose it forever. And it is where we decide whether we are with the young and future children of the world or we are against them. To all leaders here, the message of the Pacific is simple. Our canoe is sinking. Pick up your buckets and start bailing now before it's too late. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister.